Youth Power Project is a program set up by an organization called Citizen University. Citizen University. It's all these students coming together. Youth across the country. It's the opportunity for us as youth to take advantage of our civic powers. To help us learn our own power. Where power comes from. How we should direct it. That helps give us the tools to get more involved. My name is Ethereal Reyes. I'm 16 years old. I am a young Filipina girl. I'm interested in ending racism as my youth power project. So I've seen it throughout my entire life and I just personally feel like it's the biggest problem in America. I'm Ashanti. I am 16 years old. At my school, I'm a Metco student, so I've started this Western Metco Scholars. Metco is just minority students that are from the inner city that get taken to the suburbs for better school opportunities and education. We shouldn't feel discouraged from stepping up just because we are minority. I'm Malia Youssef, I'm 16. My dad's Pakistani and my mom's white, so I'm a mixed kid. I'm doing uh, Muslim awareness and acceptance. I feel like there's not necessarily hate, it's just a lot of like ignorance. My name is Jaden Deal and I'm 17. Striving for equality, what's fair for all groups and what's fair for, say, me as um, a gay youth being able to go into school and feel safe. I'm Gable Bell and I'm 16. I started a drive called Ant Flows Drive, which collects pads and tampons and other feminine products for the homeless women in the shelters. There are just so many homeless people everywhere I see them and they're just out here without any help. Pads and tampons are just like the least donated items for shelters, so when they are donated, people are really grateful. Citizen University let us choose our own project to teach us the civic power that we possess and help us raise awareness on social issues that are meaningful to us. And I did this by creating a documentary about colorism and beauty standards. My film is a 10 minute short film. It's a documentary. It's from the narrative of six different girls. It talks about their struggles as youth with the ideas of colorism and beauty standards. It's called Success Looks Like Me. So we've been talking with women that are in certain positions, go to the middle schools and like the elementary schools and kind of start to encourage like the younger girls that like it's okay that this is not what's typically seen. Like you can still do this. So we took a less confrontational approach to bullying. We did a positivity campaign. We ordered a bunch of stickers that said safe space. We actually went to a teacher meeting, handed out the stickers and said, if you want students to know that this is a safe place, tape this up to the window outside your door. And the next day, we actually ran out of stickers so we had to make another order. Our goal was that as long as we were affecting at least one person, then it was a success. What youth can bring to the table is we can collaborate well in hearing out each other and understanding one another from each other's like different experiences. My work with the Youth Power Project has taught me that I'm capable of more than I thought I was. If you really believe what you're doing, then anything can be possible. It's helped me realize that I don't need to wait to get an education, to go to college, to do something and to make a difference. Experience is experience, so age doesn't matter or shouldn't validate or invalidate it. There's all these students that have the great potential to become a leader, to be able to exact change. Don't ignore those students. Okay.